Hi there, my name is John Dingliana. I'm an assistant professor at the School of Computer Science and Statistics at Trinity College Dublin. And I'm also the course director for the MSc in Computer Science program, which we offer. Now, this is actually four different courses under the banner of Computer Science. They all share some components, but each has a large specialized component that leads to a distinct degree. These are offered in four specialized sub-areas of computer science, namely augmented and virtual reality, data science, future network systems, and intelligence systems. The course is hosted at the School of Computer Science and Statistics, which is one of the largest schools in Trinity College Dublin. And because of its large size, it's broken down into these five disciplines that you see here, respectively in artificial intelligence, graphics and vision, networks and distributed systems, software and systems, and statistics and information systems. The school was formed about 10 years ago by actually the merger of the Department of Statistics and the Department of Computer Science. The Department of Computer Science was the first department in computer science in Ireland. And currently we're proud to be number one in Ireland and top 100 in the world in the area of computer science and information systems, according to the QS World Rankings. This slide shows a high-level timeline of the course, starting in September and ending after a full calendar year at the end of August. Uh, the first two-thirds of the course are, are taught semesters, basically closer to more traditional teaching in terms of uh, classes, lectures, labs, tutorials, culminating in an examination session at the end of each semester. And after this, uh, students continue over the summer months into a period dedicated for research. Now, it should be mentioned that the, the research goes on from day one. It's just that most of the full-time work is over the summer period after second semester exams have been completed. Another point of note is that the course is 90 ECTS credits, which is quite a, uh, quite a lot to pack into one single calendar year. Most uh, courses, for instance, undergraduate courses would have 60 credits, and the summer research period would, would really be replaced by the vacation period. Now, some of the reasons for taking such an approach is just to allow students to uh, complete the requirements of a, a master's, which is in, in Ireland is typically 90 ECTS credits within a single year, only have to take a year out of their lives, and also maybe only have to pay one year of fees. In terms of specific content, this slide gives you a high-level breakdown, uh, going from very general at the top to very specialized or very individual at the bottom. Uh, all four strands share a number of core modules that, that all students have to do in the MSc in Computer Science. Uh, these include machine learning, which we consider is a ubiquitous and essential uh, skill and area of knowledge that is now required in all areas of computer science industry and research. And the other part and the other module is research and innovation. It's slightly more general and more transferable than the other the other modules you'll encounter, but uh, it feeds into uh, the research dissertation, but also many specialized assignments that you might do during the year in some of the other modules. And innovation is an, an area that deals with things like uh, the skills you need to turn technical ideas into business ideas or just to basically take part in startup companies or innovation as part of larger uh, larger companies. So apart from the core modules, we each strand has uh, quite specialized modules specific to its area and I'll talk about these in the next few slides. Uh, this allows specialization that leads to those different degree classifications. And then each student also has a number of modules, two to three, that they can use to somewhat customize their learning towards their own interests. So it's uh, depending on each strand, you'll have two five ECS modules or three five ECS modules. You can pick from a pool of common modules. And these modules uh, usually come from the other strands or some a number of a small number of modules that are offered by uh, other courses or uh, other parts of the, the, the school or college. And finally, the research dissertation, although it's something that all MSc students are doing, it's ex extremely uh, unique. Each student has a completely different individual project than the other student. 
Next, I'm going to talk in a little bit more detail about the individual strands. The first being the Augmented and Virtual Reality Strand, or AVR. Now, this uh, strand is in an area that has received a huge amount of increased interest in recent years, having um, recently reached a, a level of maturity where the applications are transcending the leisure or entertainment domains and going into serious applications such as engineering, geosciences and, and medicine. And uh, um, this strand deals with the technology and the practice that goes into developing augmented virtual reality applications but also related applications such as video games or visual effects or serious applications as I mentioned before. Uh, some, ex some key modules in this strand include computer vision, the study, the study, recognition, processing and understanding of images used in visual effects but also in areas such as uh, uh, robotics or drone technology. Uh, the other half of the augmented VR virtual reality uh, domain is covered by topics that fit on the banner of computer graphics including areas such as rendering, creating realistic images quickly in real time, animation, creating um, synthesized movements that are realistic and plausible. Also running through this uh, is a slightly uh, more mathematical element which underlies both graphics and vision areas and uh, a 10 ECTS uh, component of advanced software engineering. The data science strand combines statistics cloud and security technologies with data management and addresses challenges and opportunities that the big data revolution has brought to our lives in recent years. The school, which combines experts in statistics with experts in computer science, is quite nicely placed to offer a course of this type. And students on the course will learn how to deal with things like storing and processing data using computing technologies, how to analyze it using advanced statistics and techniques such as machine learning and how to deliver new insights and knowledge from the data through optimization and data visualizations. Now, this is our most uh, popular strand and gets hundreds of applications for just 40 places in the course. So if you're interested in this uh, strand, I advise early application because uh, we tend to open in October or November, but we usually, uh, usually fill those 40 places by, by January every year. The Future Network System strand is tied in closely to the themes of the Connect National Research Center and uh, a long history of innovation, teaching and startup companies in the school in the areas of networks and distributed systems. Basically, the strand deals with intelligent and connected technologies that are being employed for increasingly diverse applications in, in our everyday lives. The strand looks at uh, issues of large scale cyber physical and distributed systems uh, and issues that they pose, challenges they pose including challenges of timeliness, safety, privacy and scale. Key modules include uh, topics such as scalable computing that includes aspects of cloud computing, Internet of Things, smart cities uh, discussed in the urban computing module and cyber security in the security and privacy module. The Intelligent Systems strand deals with smart interactive systems which are becoming an integral part of our daily lives at home, in the workplace or in uh, things like social media interaction. It's slightly more AI focused than the data science strand which has some overlaps. It, it explores technical areas required for designing and building such intelligent systems including uh, topics such as artificial intelligence, human language understanding and generation, web systems, for information and applications, data analytics, and knowledge engineering. This strand is very closely linked to the National SFI Research Center ADAPT, the Center for Digital Content Technology. Regardless of strand, all MSc students undertake and have to successfully complete a research dissertation in order to get the award of MSc in Computer Science. Now I should briefly mention that it's possible to complete just the thought components uh, worth 60 ECTSs and depart the course with a postgraduate diploma in computer science, which is still considered a level 9 degree, basically the master's without a research component. But in order to get the MSc, you do this 30 ECTS research project 
a somewhat specialized uh, project and it'll be very individual and very unique. Uh, your project will be quite different from any of the other projects that the hundred or so other students in the course are doing. And this will be conducted under the supervision of an academic uh, supervisor from the school. And uh, the topics are quite uh, varied. Some are very obviously related to the, the strand topics or the strand modules. In some cases, indirectly related. I can't go into too much detail here, but if you want to find out what kind of topics might be available, I'd suggest looking at our school research pages. In addition, our school page has a list of examples of dissertations from previous students from the course. Again, I won't read them through here, but if you go to our school website, scss.tcd.ie, you should be able to easily find examples of past research work. So apart from the course content uh, and uh, kind of the functional elements, what should you expect from this course at a practical level? What are the kind of notable things that might distinguish it from the average course or that you might have done already? The first thing is to note that it's quite practical. 50% or more of our modules are assessed purely by coursework, no exams. And even the ones with exams tend to have an element of coursework that, that is quite substantial within them. Okay. Uh, one of the objectives of the, the course is to develop skills to work independently, much more independently than you might be used to in your previous uh, academic career as undergrads, in a self-directed manner to initiate and sometimes lead research or development of novel solutions. We're not just asking you to learn and regurgitate something. In some cases, you're going to be asked questions, problems to solve that have not been solved yet and try to solve them. Uh, quite a lot of the course uh, modules have an element of teamwork, some more substantial than others. From a practical point of view, you have access to all the standard college uh, library and facilities, but we also have a dedicated um, facility in the fourth floor of Phoenix House, South Lancaster Street, refurbished a couple of years specifically for this MSc program. Where have past graduates gone? This is a slightly uh, incomplete. We have uh, 100, 100 to 130 students every year, so I can't list them in one slide, and a lot of them are overlapped as well. But in general, three areas that the past graduates go to, most of them go work in industry. Some of them continue uh, in academia or research, some working as PhD students or research engineers in some technology companies. Some work in startups. The main areas of employment tend to be in things like the fintech sector as jobs such as data scientists, analysts, or business analysts. Uh, a large majority work in the software development or software engineering areas, some in slightly more specialized sub areas such as in AI or in augmented reality or graphics or computer vision or in areas around networks. So how to get into the course? The requirements are, as you see here, all courses really in, in Trinity College require a uh, 2-1 or upper second class honors degree, which is 60% or above in your undergraduate. Uh, for this course, we, we typically require to be in computer science or computing, ICT or related discipline, but we do accept candidates that are not specifically uh, computer science, don't, that don't specifically have computer science background from areas such as engineering, science and maths, and some such candidates have done quite well in the course. There is going to be a basic programming test as part of entry, entry requirements. It's not a very substantial test, it's really just checking that you have the, the minimal standard. Uh, we typically require competence in maths and stats, some strands more than others. Strands like data science and the augmented and virtual reality strand rely on quite a lot of maths background and competency. If English is not your first language, we're going to require a 6.5 IELTS or equivalent uh, certification. You can do TOEFL uh, or, or a number of alternatives that are listed on the college website and on our course website. Just to note that uh, this question comes up quite often. Uh, we do require this even of Indian ap applicants. We know that most Indian universities certify that teaching is done on, in the medium of English, but we still require this. It should, 6.5 is probably not going to be very difficult for students who have studied in, in the medium of English, but unfortunately we require this, and you're going to need this anyway for visa purposes. So. Apart from that, we just require an ability to work independently, a strong worth, work ethic and commitment. Just know that uh, there is quite a lot of hours of effort in this course. Uh, we hope it'll be worth it, but just to warn you that it's not one that you can easily 
uh, breeze through and at the same time in parallel do a part-time course or anything. Most of our most of our students work full time on the course. Uh, there's uh, oh, there's enough to juggle and, and 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 learn, so it's best not to risk taking on any substantial part-time work during the course. Usually, students get employment quite soon after the course. As I mentioned earlier, early application is advised, particularly if you're applying for data science and the intelligent systems strands, which are very popular. Try to apply as soon as possible. Uh, but you should make sure that the application is reasonably complete. Missing documents like the English test is likely to delay your application's processing a bit more than someone who, who submitted a complete application right off. Okay. Admissions open every year in October, November. The closing date is usually end of July. This can change from year to year, just note that. Uh, the data science strand typically closes much earlier, around January, because it gets filled very quickly. Okay. More information is available on our school website, particularly on the sub part of the site uh, dealing particularly with the MC course. Here you'll find more details on the course structure, the application links, FAQs, and how to prepare for the course. For more information also, if you if you can't find it on the FAQ, by contacting us through the general postgraduate at SES.tcd uh, email address, and that will get filtered to the right person. Okay. So that's basic React. Thank you for your attention, and thank you for your interest in this program. Thank you.